Hey, what's up guys? My name is Delia, and I'm sorry in advance that the audio isn't too great in this video. I don't really have the best microphone, but I do have a Life is Strange theory that I wanted to share with all of you. Now, I don't think that anyone's talked about this up until now. I couldn't find anything, but if someone has, or even you have, oops, sorry about that. But assuming no one else has yet, I'm kind of surprised since it's something that really stuck out to me when I first played. Uh, we've seen a lot of theories about the other characters shown in the game so far, but I have a theory about one we haven't seen yet. Nathan Prescott's father, Sean Prescott. Yeah, I don't think he's his real dad. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. Now stay with me. We'll start by looking at the text messages from the private number. Even though it's private, this person starts by introducing themselves as Nathan's father. If that's true, then why would he feel the need to text Max using a private number at all? He also says that this issue will be met with many lawyers and tells her that she's not the first person to try and get his son in trouble. Why would any adult actually say that to Max? It only proves that Nathan's messed up. Not that we need a proof to begin with. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! There's also the question of why he wouldn't introduce himself as Mr. Prescott, or even as Sean Prescott. Why didn't he call Max's parents? How did he get Max's number so quickly? Who gave him the number? Who even said it was Max to begin with? Did Principal Wells tell him? And if he did, isn't there supposed to be some kind of confidentiality? Everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Another major inconsistency comes in later on in episode three when you're with Chloe in Principal Wells' office. In there you find this letter, which reads, <clears throat> Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contribution to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that cancelling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. This letter is signed Sean Prescott, but let's listen to what Chloe says just a few moments later. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped Major Bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? Pause. Did you catch that? Nathan Prescott the third. Nathan Prescott the third. Nathan Prescott the third. So, apparently, Nathan's name is Nathan Prescott the third, but his dad's name is Sean. That ain't how names work. I did look this up, and I found that Nathan could be named after his grandfather, uncle, or cousin. But that would make him Nathan Prescott the second, not third. And I guess that maybe he could be named after an uncle who was also named after an uncle, but one, that barely makes any sense even if you know what you're saying, and two, there's no reason for the writers to do that. This inconsistency was definitely put there on purpose. Now, let's pay a little more attention to Nathan himself. Shit! No! No, 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 no! Personally, I actually really like Nathan as a character, even though he is really screwed up. Not saying I don't want to chill with him in real life, but he's a good antagonist, if that's what he is. Either way, I like his character. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Me in episode three, Nathan pretty much acts like Max is an idiot for assuming we know about his family. But what if he's telling us the truth there? What if Nathan's been being used this whole time by someone? Maybe he went along with it for a while, but now he wants to get out of it and he can't because he's been being used and nobody believes him and that's part of why he's been acting out. Maybe Sean Prescott is just a made up person created by someone on the inside, but wouldn't Principal Wells know this? Maybe not. Or maybe I'll have to make another theory video soon, but that's all for now. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hopefully I'll make videos in the future, so feel free to like and subscribe or share or something. Alright, bye.